Here we're being asked to prove that vector addition is commutative and associative. So this will be our, our first proof um, in the linear algebra course. First of all, uh, let's just define three vectors. u, v, and w are all in Rn. So they're three vectors with n components. And let's figure out what we're trying to prove. So we're trying to prove that vector addition is commutative. So u plus v is the same as v plus u. And associative. So u plus v in parentheses plus w is the same as u plus v plus w. Okay, so how are we going to do this? <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, um, let's just start with u plus v. So here's u plus v. And what is this equal to? So what's the definition of vector addition? Well, it's just, we've already gone over this. It's u1 plus v1, comma, u2 plus v2. And that keeps going until you get to the last component, un plus vn. And this is the new vector. This is the vector u plus v. Okay, well, uh, remember, these are real numbers. The components of vectors in Rn are real numbers. And so we can use the commutative property of addition of real numbers to switch those around. So this is the same as v1 plus u1, because those are just real numbers, and addition of real numbers is commutative. v2 plus u2, and you keep going till you get to the end, vn plus un. Well, now here, this is the definition of v plus u. That's how we define v plus u. And so we have a, a simple algebraic proof here that u plus v is equal to v plus u. It's not really formal. There's no formal writings, but I think you can see clearly it's a, it's a proof. Okay. Uh, how about uh, proving that vector addition is associative? Well, I want you to pause and, and try that on your own, but the strategy is going to be the same. What we did is we, we went ahead and used the properties of real numbers, the fact that real numbers are commutative, to prove that vectors are commutative. And we're going to use that same strategy for associative, for the associative property. Okay, pause and try that on your own. Okay, hopefully you're back from pausing the video and, and trying to prove that vectors are associative. And now let's go through it. So we have u plus v plus w. Well, we know that u plus v is going to be its own vector. It's going to be the vector u1 plus v1, and I'm just going to leave off the, the second component. We all, you've seen it enough times, we know what's happening. Down to un plus vn. So that's this whole vector here. We can think of u plus v as its own new vector, plus w, so plus W1, and again, I'm going to leave off the second one and just write it like that. Okay, well, now we're just adding two vectors together, and we know how to do that. We take the first component of the first vector, which is u1 plus v1. That's the first component of the of that vector. And then we add the first component of the other vector, which is just w1. 
and we do that for each component, each of the components, until we get to un plus vn plus wn. Okay, and now again we have uh, real numbers here, and real numbers are associative. Uh, addition of real numbers is associative and so we're just going to use that property of real numbers so this is the same thing as u1 plus v1 plus w1 remember these components are just real numbers so the associative property of addition holds okay and we'll do that all the way through all of these components and we're almost done and now we can break this up into the vector u u1 all the way to un plus the vector um, v1 plus w1 all the way to the end, vn plus wn. And this, of course, is just u plus v plus w. And so we've proved that uh, vector addition is associative. So again, it's it's a really simple, uh, 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 really simple method. All we're doing is uh, a really simple process. That's the word I was looking for. All we're doing is taking uh, the vectors, breaking them down into their components. And since the components are real numbers, we can use the properties of real numbers on the component level and then we're kind of pulling things back out into vectors. Okay, I hope this was helpful. We'll see uh, the rest of the properties of vectors in the next video. See you then.